Okay, so here we have the Yanuo 562, all right, with the microsync triggers. I like the microsynks because they're nice and small. Anyway, this one has ordinary AA alkaline batteries. This one has 1900 uh, milliamp analoops. And this one has 1900 milliamp analoops along with a quantum HV turbo battery. So, we got that going on for it. Uh, so, right now we're just going to test the recycle time of each one. Uh, I've done this before. Uh, this is my second take, so I already know the answers. But with the other loops on the HV battery, it's about 1.5 seconds uh, to recycle. Uh, with the Jesse other loops, it's about two and a half seconds. Uh, and with the ordinary double A's, it's a little under five seconds. So, let's get this started. So, this is a flash ready light. When the red light is on, it indicates that the flash is ready to fire. So we're just going to go ahead and do that real quick. Alright. Oh, let me actually turn the HV battery on. Alright, there we go. We're going to do this again. So you'll notice this one will recycle quicker. Boom, ready. And there you go. Then that one's ready. And now that one's ready. So once again, Okay, so you'll see this one takes about one and a half seconds, so one Mississippi, there you go, it's already ready to fire. This one takes a little longer, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, so a little bit. This one we're still waiting on, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five. there you go, so a little under five seconds. Now, the funny thing is that with the HV battery, the recycle time is quick, but with just the Vienna loops, it's really, it's not that bad. It's pretty good. There you go, just a little longer. Uh, and we're still waiting on this thing to, to hurry up. Uh, so the reason why I'm setting this up is because I was trying to decide how I wanted to pack uh, my bag for an assignment. So for each kind of different thing I do, I pack differently. Uh, for a news assignment, I'll pack light and fast. Uh, for a quick uh, headshot or portrait session, you know, I'll just I'll throw I'll bring a bag with my flashes and do that. Um, for a wedding, I'll bring the flashes and an HV battery. And the thing I was trying to decide was that for a quick portrait session, uh, that's usually around really about an hour or so, is it worth it to bring along the HV batteries? And it really isn't because you know, two seconds isn't the end of the world. Uh, when it comes to recycle time, especially with the end loops. The thing about the HV battery is I've brought the HV battery to weddings and you know, it'll keep the flash firing at one second all night long. Like all night. It just keeps going and going and going. I think I did maybe like seven hundred shots once and that was like the most I've ever done with it and it kept going strong. So for a wedding the HV battery really it adds to it. And the HV battery really wasn't out of expense. I've had them for a very long time. I've had these Lumer Dynes for about uh, six years now or so, five or six years, and they're still they're still going strong, so why not? Uh, but one thing I did want to test out was not only the recycle time, which you can see, and I'll actually uh, get some hard numbers here was uh, the burnout. It overheats eventually, and when it overheats, it's really bad. But you can get a couple of flashes before it does that. So let me just test the recycle time real quick of this flash with the HV battery. There you go, 1.29 seconds. And again, Yeah, 1.23, it's really, really fast. And what I'm doing is I'm hitting this on my watch at the same time 
and then watching this to go on. So it's not exactly scientific, it's just reactionary, but you get the idea. Once again. Yeah, 1.12, it's pretty quick. This one, with just the inner loops, 1.9 seconds, and again, 2.4 seconds. We'll do that again. Two point one eight seconds. This one, however, takes a while. Five point seven seconds. Five point five seconds. So you can see the recycle time trust from different again, this is with an loops of the HV battery. This is just the inner loops, and this is ordinary AA alkalines. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to test the burnout of each of these. And I did this like an hour ago, and then I forgot to do it, but we'll show you. See how many pots you can get before the flash turns off. So again, one. Two. Three, and it won't fire until it's ready. Four, see, just won't go. <coughs> Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Um. Twelve. Alright, so it keeps going because the recycle time is so slow. But if you can feel the front of the flash, it's pretty hot. Alright, so you can keep going with that on and on and on. But again, the recycle time is around five seconds, so it can be tedious waiting for it every five seconds. Alright, so this is just the end of loop, so I'm just going to test the burnout on this. So, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And see, it just won't cycle again. And that's the thing, there's no indicator that it burnt out, it just will not cycle. It will just let you know when it's ready. Um, you can turn on the audio indicator and when it becomes ready it will let you know. There, that means it's ready. So you saw you got 12 flashes out of it and it took about 10-15 seconds for it to come back around. That's irritating. One, two, three, and again, it's burnt out, just won't come back on. It's around 15 seconds for it to come back. It takes a while. I'm not gonna continue on and destroy my flashes, but the front's pretty hot. <clears throat> so we saw with just the unloops, you can get about... With just the double A's, you can keep going, because the recycle time's about every five seconds, so there's really no danger of it overheating. 
With the antelopes, you get about 12 flashes every two seconds. And you get one flash every two seconds until, until about 12. And then what happens is it burns out and it takes around 15 seconds. So this one, this is with the antelopes and the HV battery. And this one will just keep going until it burns out. So again, we'll test that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. In twelve, you see it burns out. It just won't come back. I'm just going to wait for it to be ready again. There it is, it's gonna come back. So now we have it again. And you can do another three before it heats up. So it, it, it gets pretty hot pretty quick with the H3 battery, but again, you can do about 11 flashes. Boom, 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 boom. One right after the other. One second recycle time. And uh, it just works. You can see we're waiting quite a while for it to come back after overheating. So you just, you just can't push it too bad. Um, which isn't, isn't a problem if you're doing sports. And again, this is all full blast, one-to-one. -one. Yeah. If you're doing it on, uh... Yeah, so what's funny is this is actually still pretty cool over here. But the batteries inside are just really hot, if you feel over here. So on each one, the flash head is pretty warm, and on the one with the double A's and the one with just the end loops, the body where the batteries are stored is actually really warm. But on this one, the batteries are pretty cool. Just the flash head is really hot. So that's another thing to to think about because it's not really.